almost Easter and my chickens have been laying a lot of eggs. So in today's video, I'm going to 3D print something to decorate the eggs. Let's get started. The first thing you do is you search up free bunny vector art. Um, just find the one you like and remember to choose a silhouette one. Silhouette one is, you know, it just looks like a shadow. Since there's more than one vector file, be sure to download an SVG. I've downloaded the one I like. Now let's go to the next step. Okay, you go to tinkercad.com. If you don't already have an account, you can create one, but it's free to use. The first thing is you have to create new design. So you go over here and you press import. Now you click choose a file. And then select your file and click open. Then you select artboard, which is already selected, and then you press import. As you can see, it automatically turns the shape into a 3D object. You want to select your object and click on it. We're going to 3D print a rubber stamp, but you have to reverse this because it's going to print backwards when you print it. To do that, you click on the mirror button. Okay, there's arrow, arrows that show you which ways you can mirror it. So we're going to select this one. And it got mirrored. Now we're going to add a base you can hold on to. So I'm going to put it right here. Okay, I'm going to reshape this, but to make sure it doesn't work, I'm going to hold the shift key while I do it. We need to make the circle bigger than the bunny, but we, we want to make the circle the same height as the bunny. Right, I can just... I can just check its height. It's 10. And then I, all I have to do is go to 10. To get rid of the rough edges, increase the size, I mean the sides, all the way. Now we just need to center the bunny on the circle. Uh, click and drag to select bo uh, both like this. Now I select adjust. Okay, now just click this middle circle. And then click this one. As you can see, we we didn't make the circle big enough, so we now have to make it bigger. So now we're done here, so we're going to save this. Now I just need to size it to the size and I'm going to print it. You select them both. I'm going to make it 15 wide and then 10 high. Because I want it to be 1.5 centimeters. Okay, I might have actually uh, sized it one time without using the shift key. Well, it's close enough. Now I'm going to select this one and I'm going to make it 10 tall. That's perfect, now I just need to save it. You have to select export, you have to select everything in the design, you have to press STL, and you press OK, and then you save it. The next step is to open it in Kira. You press the folder, and then you select this, and then you press open. I'm gonna use flexible filament, which you need a little higher temperature than usual. So I'm doing 240 Celsius. Okay, I'm gonna slice it. I'm gonna press preview. I'm looking at all of its layers now. It looks good. So I'm gonna save. I'm putting the memory card in there now. I'm gonna save it to the removable drive. Inject. 
I'm going to use the Ninja Tech Cheetah th Filament because I think it's going to do really well with the rubber stamp. This field plays it as PEI, which can help plastic stick to it like it like filament, but this flexible filament sticks to it too well, so you have to use something to stop it from sticking. But I already put on a layer of this hairspray. Okay, I'm gonna put it in. Sorting the files. Now I'm gonna print from the SD card. And I'm gonna start the time lapse. See you later. Bye! Since flexible filament also bends, um, you can't get this off by bending the bed, see? Since this filament is flexible, you, you need this razor blade to get it off. So I'll show you a two-step process to do that. So the first thing you have to do is you have to flatten out the razor blade. You have to put it under the stamp. You only have to barely slide it under here. And the second is you have to take the spatula and to flatten it out and put it under here. And I got it out. Here it is. I bought this ink pad because it was in clearance, but it turns out it didn't have any ink on it. So I'm going to take red acrylic paint. Well, I already put it on there and let's see how it goes. Take this off. I'm gonna stamp it. Okay, you got paint on it and now I'm gonna try to stamp the egg. Mm. Got a bunny. <laughs> All the bunnies. After the paint dries, you can add more colors and you can color the whole egg. I think uh, I think it went pretty well. Leave what you think. Leave what you think about this in the comment section. Happy Easter! Bye.